Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this gorgeous brown smoky eye. Stay tuned. To begin this eye look, I'm going to prime with my MAC Soap Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to apply this to my lid all the way up to my brow. Now I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes and I'm using my L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye Concealer and this shade is medium. I'm going to blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. I already applied my foundation, so now I'm just going to set my under eye concealer with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm applying it a bit heavily to catch any fallout. I'm going to apply this orange matte eyeshadow by Black of Cosmetics to my crease with the blending brush from Sigma. I'm just applying this right into the crease and a little bit of both. Now I'm going to take this gorgeous eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's called Beauty Mark and I'm applying it directly into my crease with the smaller brush just so that I can be a bit more precise. I'm also taking this to the inner corners of my crease. Doing tiny little circles helps blend the two eyeshadows together. I'm now going to reach for this burnt orange brown eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it with a flat brush to my lid. I'm going to connect it to the colors on my crease so that everything is perfectly seamless. I'm also going to blend out that edge. As you can see, it helps the two colors blend better. I did not apply any more of that Beauty Mark eyeshadow to my brush. I'm just using whatever's left. I'm going to use Eternal Sunshine by L'Oreal Paris and just tap that on with my finger to the center of my lid and then blend it in with whatever's left on the brush. I'm also applying this to the inner corners to brighten. Now I'm going to apply a wing eyeliner using my Liquid Liner by L'Oreal Paris and this is my Carbon Black. It's one of my favorites. Take your time when applying your liquid liner products. And now I'm going to reach for that eyeshadow once again by Anastasia Beverly Hills and my MAC 217 and just blend this onto my lower lash line. I want this to be pretty smoky so the more you blend the better smoke you will get. And I'm now going to apply that burnt orange eyeshadow as well to help blend out that eyeshadow even more. Now I'm going to take my Glide On Eyeliner by Urban Decay and Scorch and I'm applying this to the inner corners of my lower lash line. With a black eyeliner, I'm going to deepen out the outer corners and center of my lash line, my lower lash line, and just give that more of a smoky look. I'm now going to apply two coats of my favorite mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Doing the wiggling effect helps to apply your mascara while separating and defining your lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to apply this foundation powder that's a bit darker than my complexion to all the areas of my face that I will be applying contour powder. This is going to help my contour powder blend perfectly. I'm now going to reach for my Havana Contour Powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills and an angled brush to apply this to my cheekbones. I'm applying this wherever I want my cheekbones to look a little bit more pronounced. To finish off my eyes, I'm applying my favorite Make Eyelashes by Esquito and these are unforgettable. Look below in the description box for a discount code. Now for my favorite blush, as you can tell, this is Peach Whisper by Laura Mercier and I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks. This is going to give me a nice healthy glow. Now for my lips, I'm going to line them with Pecan and this lip liner is by Modest Cosmetics and I'm just going to define the shape of my lips.
So I know this look is a little bit dark for a video that's coming up around Valentine's Day but I promise you these lips are still very kissable as the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks do set and they dry to a matte and they do not transfer. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed putting it together for you guys and I hope you got something useful out of it. And until my next video, I love you. Stay pretty. Bye.